Hello friends, this is Brother Carlos. This is just a special training for you. Okay, in these last days, we, we must learn to overcome Satan and his demons. Okay, we have plenty of scriptures from the Word of God to help us, okay, overcome the enemy and his evil spirits. One of them is Luke 10, 19. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. So the Bible gives us authority, okay, to overcome Satan and his kingdom and his demons, okay? Another one is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses from 3 to 6. It says that... Uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Bringing every thought, okay, into cap every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. That's the key, okay, verse, okay, for us to overcome Satan and his evil spirits in these last days. The battle happens in the mind, okay? Evil spirits, they are constantly coming around and they speak into our minds and it comes across as thoughts, that's their communication. They, they don't have a, a, a physical body like we do. They, don't have, they, they do not have vocal cords like we do, okay? They speak through their minds, okay? You have a mind, I have a mind. If we spirits have minds, God has a mind. Jesus has a mind. Angels have minds. That's how they communicate in the spiritual realm is through the mind, Okay, and it you know when they communicate with us, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, or evil, or angels, or, or or evil spirits, or Satan, they communicate into our minds. It comes across as thoughts. How can we exercise the power of our minds to overcome Satan and his demons in these last days?